Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade chapter eight, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. So I rewrote it right here um, just so that y'all could see what I was doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that three over a one. It's not a fraction, I need a fraction to be able to multiply it, okay? So now three times three is nine and one times five is five. So now in order to get it from an improper fraction where the top is bigger than the bottom to a mixed number, which is just a whole number with a fraction, I need to do some division. So I know that the top number goes in the box, the bottom number goes outside the box, okay? And I'm going to go five goes into nine one time, one times five, is five. When I subtract, I get four. So now I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to get my mixed number. Okay. This is my whole number. Okay. This is my numerator. And this, my original denominator, that stays. Okay. So now y'all know how I got that, okay? So your answer for this one is going to be 1 and 4 fifths, okay? I'm going to show y'all how to kind of do that mentally if you're able to, okay? If you're not, you can totally use scrap paper. It's fine. It's not a big deal, okay? So first, I'm going to do 5 over 1. I'm going to put the 5 over a 1, okay? Now 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 4 is 4, okay? Well, I know that four goes into 15 three times, and three times four is 12. So 15 minus 12 is three, and my denominator stays the same, okay? So all that is is me putting this, okay, and then doing the math, okay? Okay, so now, we're going to, um, instead of me turning that into an improper fraction, multiplying across and then making it that again, I'm gonna go four times one is four, four times one again is four, and four times five, or sorry, it would be one times five, is five, because our denominator stays the same. Okay, I'm gonna do that again, you ready? Two times two is four, Two times one is two, and our denominator stays the same. Okay? That's when you're multiplying it by a mixed number. Okay? So, five times one is five. Five times one is five again, and our denominator stays the same. Okay? Can you turn it into a mixed number? Absolutely. I will show you how right now. Okay, number seven says two times two and seven eighths. So, you can absolutely do dead man and turn that into two and eight times two is 16 plus seven is 23 and keep our denominator you can absolutely do that if you are just dying to i am not so i'm gonna go if if we were to do this then we would get 46 over eight and then eight would go into 46 five times, eight times five is 40, 46 minus 40 is six, my denominator is eight, okay? Can I do that? Absolutely, do I want to? No, I'm gonna go two times two is four, two times seven is 14, and my denominator stays the same. Now, I still have 14 over eight, sorry, y'all can't see that. I still have 14 over eight, okay? Well, eight, is going to go into 14 one more time okay i would have six left over so i would still have five and six eighths okay okay all right so there we go okay so now Seven times one is seven. Seven times three is 21. Keep my denominator, okay? So four goes 
goes into 21 five times for 20. That leaves me with one. 21 minus 20 is one. So I'm going to wind up with 12 and one quarter. Okay. I'm gonna do it again, ready? Eight times one is eight. Eight times three is 24 and I keep my denominator. Top is bigger than the bottom. So I'm gonna go five goes into 24. Sorry, four times. That would leave me with 20. And 24 minus 20 is going to leave me with four. Eight plus four is 12. 12 and four fifths. Okay? Showing you guys different ways to do this. Comes out with the same result, okay? Three all exercises for three quarters of an hour each day for six days altogether. How many hours? So six times three quarters. Well, I'll put that six over one. I'm going to go six times three is 18, and that's going to be over four. One times four is four. Okay. Well, four goes into 18 four times, which is 16. Okay. 18 minus 16 is two, and I keep my denominator. That's being measured in hours. Done. Okay. All right. A recipe calls for two and two thirds cup of milk. Connor makes four batches. Okay. So let me fix my scrap paper so I've got some room. Okay. So I have four times two and two thirds. Okay. Same thing, y'all. Okay. Four times two is eight. Four times two is eight again, and then I keep my denominator, okay? Eight is bigger than three. Three goes into eight, two times. That leaves me with six. Eight minus six is two. Eight plus two, 10. 10 and two thirds cups, okay? Pause it and write down your work, guys. You need to write it down, okay? All right, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. You're brilliant. You can. I'm ready to start our review. So Carly walks five-eighths of a mile to school every day. How far does she walk in five days? So five-eighths times five. I'm going to put that over a one. Five times five is 25, and eight times one is eight. I know that eight goes into 25. Three times, eight times three is 24, and 25 minus 24 is one, and I keep my denominator. So three and one eighth mile, be measured in miles. Okay. Our answer book is saying that you can leave it as 25 over eight as well. You don't have to convert it back into a mixed number. You can, you don't have to. Okay. What is a fraction that's a multiple of four fifths? Well, I would just multiply the top and bottom by two. So then I get eight over 10. That's a multiple of four fifths. Okay. So it's actually giving us guys, uh, it actually wants for us to, so next this guys, sorry, it actually wants us to keep the denominator of five. Okay. So then we just have to multiply four by a number. So we could use eight, we could use 12, we could use 16, any number that's a multiple of four. Okay. So it wants us to keep that bottom number of five. So sorry about that. Don't use this one, okay? All right. Joe cut a key line point eight equal size pieces. On the next day, seven eighths of the pie is left. Joe puts each slice on its own plate. How many plates does he need? Well, if each piece is one eighth and there are seven eighths left, then he's going to need seven plates.
okay? Over the weekend, Ed spent one and a quarter hours doing his math homework and one and three quarters hours doing his science project. Altogether, how much time did Ed spend doing his homework over the weekend? So, one and one quarter plus one and three quarters. So I like to take my whole numbers and put them over on the side. And then I only have to deal with one quarter plus three quarters and one plus three is four and my key my denominator well four over four is equal to another one so i'm going to say three hours that stinks to have that much homework on the weekend all right y'all thanks for hanging out for 8.4 come on back for 8.5 see you soon